بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل کلکولس اینڈ میتھمیٹکس لرننگ ان دا پریویس ویڈیو آئی سالڈ کوشچن نمبر 3 ریلیٹڈ وتھ ایکسرسائز نمبر 7.5 ان وچ وی کنورٹ دا ریڈین اینگل فرام ریڈین ٹو دا ڈگری ان ٹوڈے ویڈیو آئی ول سالو دا لاسٹ کوشچن ریلیٹڈ وتھ دا سیم ایکسرسائز نمبر 7.1 کوشچن نمبر 4 In this question number 4, we will go against the given question number 3 with that we already solved in the previous video. In this video, we will convert the angle from degree to the measurement of radian just like we solved in a circular system. So let's move toward a question number 4. It tells that convert the following angles in term of radians. There are total 4 parts in this question number 4. First part is 45 degree convert it in term of radian. Now we learned this uh, uh, equation in the previous video. So using this uh, relation, phi radian is equal to 180 degree. Now <coughs> I am going to find the value of 45 degree in term of radian. So first I will go to uh, find a 1 degree from this equation. So divide both sides with 180. So on this side we left with 1 degree is equal to on this side we left with phi radian divided by 180. Now in the given question we have 45 degree so uh, I need with 45 degree so it means that I will multiply 45 to the both side over here. So it become 45 degree will be equal to 45, 45 pi radian into 180 can be written as 45 multiply 4 it again gives us 180 so 45 is cancelled out with 45 we left with a 45 degree is equal to pi radian divided by 4. So it means that 45 degree is equal to pi by 4 in term of radian. This is the required result. Now move to the second part of question number 4. Convert 120 degree in term of radian. Now using the same relation phi radian move toward the solution of this part number 2 using the relation phi radian is equal to 180 degree. Now we uh, are required with 20, 20, 120 degree. First we are going uh, to find 1 degree from this equation. So divide both sides with 180. So on this side 180 cancel out with 180. We left with 1 degree is equal to phi radian divided by 180. Now we are interested in 120 degree. So it means that I will multiply 120 to the both sides. So 120 multiply 1 degree will give us 120. And on this side we left with 120. So 120 can be written as 12 multiply 10 it again goes as 120 and phi, phi will come uh, comes down as it is pi radian and divided by 180 so 180 can also be written as 18 multiply 10 so this 10 is cancelled out with this 10 we are left with 120 degree is equal to <coughs> 12 over here we have 12 so 12 can be written as 4 multiply 3 and we have pi radian divided by 18 can be written as uh, just like uh, 2 multiply 9, 2 multiply 9. So over here 4 is cancelled out uh, with 2. So over here we left with 2. So 120 degree will be equal to 2 multiply 3. It gives us 6 uh, and divided by 9, 5 radian. Now by further simplification 120 degree will be divide 6 with 3 and also 9 with 3. So dividing 6 with 3 it gives us 2. And dividing 9 with 3 it gives us just 3. So it means that 120 degree is equal to 2 by 3 phi radian. So this is the required result. Now move to the third and the next part of question number 4. Convert minus 210 degree in term of radian. So using the same relation 1 degree is equal to pi by 180 radian. Now over here we have 1 degree so we are required with negative 210 degree so I will just multiply negative 210 on the both sides so on this side it become negative 210 degree is equal to and on this side it become negative 210 so negative 210 can be written as minus 21 multiply 10 so minus 21 multiply 10 again gives us 210 and a radian divided by 180 180 can be written as 18 multiply 10 so 10 cancel out with 10 we are we left with minus 210 degrees equal to now divide 21 and 18 by 3 so when we divide 21 by 3 it gives us negative 7 and and when we if we divide 18 with 3 it will give us 6 so it means the required result will be negative 7 divided by 6 and over here we have pi radian pi radian so the required result will be negative 7 divided by 6 into 5 radian 
So this is the required and desired answer. Now move to the last part of today's lecture and the last part of part number 4 of question number 4 convert the 60 degree 35 minute and 48 second in term of radian. Over here we will convert this DMS palm in term of radian. So we cannot convert it directly to the radian because we need with just angle in term of degree but over here the angle in term of minute and second also. That's why we will use this conversion that we already learned in the question number 1 of this exercise. We learn in question number one that one degree is equal to 60 minute, one degree is equal to 3600 second. So from this condition divide with 60 both sides will become one minute is equal to one over 60 degree. Now we are given with a 35 minute. So multiply 35 minute over here become 35 minute is equal to 35 by 60. So 35 by 60 will give us 0 0.5833 degree. And also we have one degree is equal to 3600 second so divide both sides with 3600 so on this side we left with one second and on this side we left with one divided by 3600 degree now we are required with a 48 seconds so multiply 48 second to the both sides so 48 by 3600 will give us a 0 0.0133 degree now coming to the question 60 degree 35 uh, sec, uh, minute 48 second it can be split into 3 60 degree plus 35 minute plus 48 second we can write it just like this after this 60 degree will come down as it is plus will come down as it is and 35 minute is equal to 0 0.5833 plus will come down as it is and 48 second is equal to 0 0.0133 now by adding these three term it will give us a 60.5966 degree now we can convert this angle in term of radian directly by using this conversion so one degree will be pi divided by 180 radian multiply 60.5966 to the both sides so on this side we left with 60.5966 and on this side we left with 60.5966 and pi is equal to 3.14 and 180 will come down as it is by multiplying these two terms and divide with 180 it will give us the required and desired answer 1.06 radian it means that the given angle 60.5966 degree in term of radian is 1.06 radian so this is the required result so with this question i finish my lecture thank you for watching and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to receive the upcoming notification about class 10th mathematics thank you